Hi there, my name is Mario. On behalf of 911 Supply, the following video has been made to give clarity to members of the Calgary Police Service who have been authorized to use the Intermediate Belt System. The Intermediate Belt System is made up of the High Speed Gear Cobra Buckle Belt and the High Speed Gear Laser Duty Grip Padded Belt. In this video, we'll talk briefly about how to size and properly fit one of the new belt systems, as well as how to move all of your gear from your old belt onto your new one. To start off, we are briefly going to talk about sizing for an intermediate belt system. What we're going to see first here is a belt that is too small. So we have a small inner belt that's got the padding on it and a medium outer belt with the cobra buckle on it. Right away we can see that this is too small. Obviously this is an exaggeration, but it's important to keep in mind that with a belt that's on the smaller side, you'll be forced to mount your kit further back on the belt. And you won't be able to have stuff closer to the front, right on top of the pocket there. Next we're going to look at a belt that is too big. So in this example we have a large inner belt with the padding on it and an extra large outer with the buckle. Here we are getting an excessive amount of overlap in the inner padded belt and the outer belt is way too loose. Even if we try and cinch down the outer belt we can only go so far before the buckle can't be shortened anymore because it's right up against the first loop of the inner belt. And finally we have a medium inner belt with a large outer belt. Once again the inner belt has the padding on it and the outer belt has the cobra buckle. We can see that this one is the best fit so far and that there's a little bit of a gap in the front, and that's fine. As well, when we take a look at where we can mount gear, we have the option to have it further up on the belt. If you wanted to have gear even closer to the front, you would need one size bigger, but that would create some overlap, which is okay as long as it's not overlapping more than about 5 centimeters. So just on our example here, we can see that it's still a little bit loose, so in order to tighten it up, just undo the velcro from the tail end, pull it down tight until there's no more slack, and then reset the velcro. Now we can see that the belt is nice and snug against the mannequin here, and this is what it should look like when it's properly sized. Some general rules about sizing. You want less than a 5cm gap, or less than 5cm of overlap, depending on how far up you want to mount your gear. If there is a gap on the inner, go one size up for the outer. If there is no gap, or if there's overlap, use the same size for your outer belt that you are using for your inner belt. When moving your gear to your new belt, set up everything so it lines up in the spot where it was on your old belt. That'll make it easier for you to visualize where everything will fit when it's finished, and it'll help keep everything organized. You want to make sure you have at least one of these bands in between each piece of gear to better secure it. These will act as the new belt keepers, but remember that with this setup, gravity and the tension that you tighten the belt to are the only things that keep the belt on your person. Make sure that when you're securing a piece of kit, always try and weave the belt as close to the item as possible so that the item is held tightly in place. When you get to the holster, make sure that you weave back into the inner belt underneath the holster to give it more stability. Once you have woven it underneath the holster, bring the outer belt back through the second loop of your holster to fasten it down. And just like with the rest of your gear, you want to secure the holster with the closest possible band. Finally, place the buckle back on the belt and fasten it back onto itself. Using a piece of cardstock makes this easier. At 911 Supply, we're always looking on ways that we can improve the service that we offer first responders. If you're an officer that's already been using the Intermediate Belt System, let us know if you have any comments, critiques, or compliments about it, so that we can pass on that information to officers who will be picking up this belt system in the future. If you have any questions about anything that I've talked about in this video, please give us a call or come into our showroom. Thank you.